Hello and welcome. Today I'm talking about an interesting topic. This topic is about the difference between apologize and apologies. I think many people are asking themselves, what is the difference between both apologize and apology? So I'm sure if you watch the video carefully between apologize and apologies, and you will be able to make sentences with them. Donc ça veut dire même qu'il y a du mal pour comprendre deux termes ça ou des expressions ça yo. Apologize avec apologies. Dans fin vidéo ça va comprendre bien différence qui existe entre deux termes ça yo. Apologize avec apologies et on est capable d'utiliser une phrase. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's go with the first one which is apologize. You will apologize to my mother. Absolutely. You see the sound is apologize. The stress is on the second syllable. You say apologize. Apologize is a verb. In American English, it is written with Z-E ending, but in UK, it is written with S-E ending, but the same pronunciation. You say apologize. Apologize is a verb, and its past form is apologized, the D sound. You say apologized, apologized. Donc, moi dis donc que apologize, c'est un verb. Aux États-Unis, il écrit apologize avec terminaison Z-E. Mais au Royaume-Uni, il écrit là avec S E. Mais c'est toujours même prononciation. Hein? Il prononce comme apologize. Apologize means to excuse. When you say apologize, apologize là, c'est synonyme de verbe to excuse. I have a video about the difference between excuse and excuse on the channel. You can go right after watching this video to see the difference. When you say apologize, you say to excuse. Là, on dit apologize ou dit le verbe to excuse, qui signifie s'excuser. And apologize is to tell someone that you're sorry for having done something that has caused problems or unhappiness for them. Et apologize là, c'est dire mon nous désolé parce qu'on fait un bagage qui cause des problèmes ou du moins ce qui fait mon ça est pas content. Là, ça ou utiliser apologize. Okay, good. Now let me give you example. Example number one. She apologized for her husband's rudeness. She apologized for her husband's rudeness. Mamzelle excusez-le pour mal élever Marie le défaire. Mamzelle m'a demandé pardon pour mal élever Marie le défaire. This is what the first example says. She apologized for her husband's rudeness. Now, a second example with the verb to apologize. If I offended you, I apologize. If I offended you, I apologize. Si m'te offense ou, moi mande ou excuse, moi mande ou pardon. Okay, you say, if I offended you, I apologize. Now you see how to pronounce the verb apologize and how to use it in sentences. Let's go with the second word, which is apologies. My apologies to you both. Apologies is a noun. Apologies is a plural form of apology. Apologies, c'est un nom. Apologies, c'est pluriel de apology. Il signifie excuse au pluriel. L'homme dit apologies, moi dit c'est comme si moi dit mes excuses. Ok? Apology qui c'est singulier qui signifie excuse et apologies c'est pluriel là qui signifie excuse au pluriel. Or excuses. And apology is an expression of remorse or regret. For having said or done something that harmed another. Donc, moi dit, apologia, c'est une expression de regret. Parce qu'on t'a fait ou bien on t'a dit un bagay qui blessé en l'autre monde. You say, apology, and it's plural, apologies. Let's see some examples. Please, accept my apologies for not being able to attend your retirement dinner. I say, please, accept my apologies for not being able to attend your retirement dinner. Phrase a signifie en créole, s'il vous plaît, acceptez excuse-moi parce que je ne peux pas assister au dîner que vous avez organisé pour le retraite. C'est ça phrase a signifie. Please, accept my apologies for not being able to attend your retirement dinner. Let's see another example. The company sent a letter of apology for inconvenience caused by the construction. I say, the company sent a letter of apology for inconvenience caused by the construction. Phrase signifie en créole, compagnie a envoyé une lettre d'excuse pour inconvénient construction a été causé. As you can notice in both examples, in the first one, I use apologies, which is the plural. 
And then the second one, I use apology, which is the singular. I think you understand now the difference between apologize, the verb, and apologies, the noun. Moi, je pense que vous comprenez qu'il y a une différence qui existe entre apologies, qui c'est verbe là, et puis apologize, qui c'est noun. Let me remind you quickly. Apologize, the verb, means to excuse. And apologies, the plural noun of apology, means excuse. You clear now? Let me know in the comment if you're clear. If not, say that in the comment. Thank you for making your time to watch the video completely. I hope to see you in another more interesting video.